This is a demonstration of a chain cast on, which is a nice pair for a chain bind off, and it uses one knitting needle and one crochet hook. You're going to start with a slip knot, like many cast ons do. You do not need a long tail for this one. And the slip knot is going to go onto your knitting needle, and you want to keep it kind of loose. I hold my knitting needle in my non dominant hand and the crochet hook in my dominant hand. So I like to hold the yarn in my non-dominant hand as well because that's how I normally crochet. I'll switch and show you with the yarn in the other hand in a few minutes. So I'm going to put my hook into my loop and end up with an X shape with a hook in front. The hook's going to go to the left of and then behind the yarn and draw a loop through. Then I need to move my yarn to the back and we repeat. Don't worry if these are starting to twist around the needle, they'll get better in a second. So. The yarn's in back, the hook's in front, my hook catches the yarn, pulls it through, and then I need to move the yarn to the back again. Catch the yarn, pull it through, move the yarn to the back. So basically what we're doing here is we are crocheting a chain. So if you're a crocheter already, this should feel pretty familiar, but we're crocheting a chain around our knitting needle. Um, and here, these last two stitches tend to look just a little funny. Mine do too. Don't worry about it. They'll be fine once you do your next row. So again, move the yarn to the back, catch your yarn, draw it through. Move the yarn to the back, catch your yarn, draw it through. And then whenever you have enough stitches, including the loop that is on your hook, then you're going to take the loop on your hook and put it onto your knitting needle like so. And then you are ready to put your hook away and start knitting or purling your next row. I like to start this one with a purl stitch, but it's okay if you start with a knit stitch because it's actually pretty um, even on the bottom in terms of what you see. You just get this really nice little chain, um, and then that's going to mimic a chain bind off really nicely. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a few rows, and then I will end up recording a quick video on a chain bind off, including some tips for how to keep it loose and how to make the last stitch look a little bit nicer than it tends to. So go ahead and find that video and you can see the finishing.